Private John Cunningham, seen here enjoying well-earned leave with his family in Hull after surviving the Great War. The 19-year-old was the only traveller to be awarded the Victoria Cross. He received the highest and most prestigious medal of the British military for outstanding gallantry in the trenches. There were four or five hundred men and they all got killed and wounded. But he went on. He used all his bombs up, killing Germans. Then he come back to where they were laid dead or injured, went back again with air bombs and nan grenades, and he kept on going back and forward till he got to the end of the trench. And at the end of the trench, he met ten Germans, all armed, and he killed them outright. Their stories are very much part of our heritage. <coughs> Today, his family joined other relatives of the Yorkshire Regiment's 24 Victoria Cross winners to remember its greatest heroes and to be reunited with his medal. I was just unbelievably proud for what he achieved as only a teenager, you know what I mean? He was the first and last gypsy man to win the VC Cross. It's an unbelievable achievement. They had a 90% chance of being killed in conducting the actions that they did, and some of them were. So it is absolutely the ultimate act of personal sacrifice that regardless of what may happen to you, at a moment in time and in a particular situation, uh, you put all that to one side and show remarkable courage. Some of the medals will go on display at the York Army Museum, where they'll continue to inspire others, especially those following in the winner's footsteps. For today's soldiers, it's just so significant because they're the inspiration for us as we soldier nowadays. As I was growing up as a young officer in the regiment, I read these stories and I looked on in awe at what these young men had done. So for us, it's really special. For Private Cunningham's family, they say the chance to be reunited with his medal is a memory which will stay with them forever, as will his act of bravery and courage. Sarah Clark, ITV News, York.